<clears throat> and we're recording. Um, today we're reviewing milk and honey in uh, so M and H Apex. So Apex is their kind of premium line. They've got their core line that's at the forty six percent. Usually the Apex is their cask strength. Um, usually aged in, in interesting barrels. Today, this is a cognac cask, 58.8%, and it's batch seven of uh, of them doing in cognac. So I think this is our first m &H we're reviewing together. I've given some to Scott before, but uh, uh, so Milk and Honey is a distillery in Israel. So the land of milk and honey, right? It's a biblical reference. Very uh, appropriate. Yeah, yeah. And uh I've I've been impressed so far with the distillery. Um, and I've gone out of my way to look at their stuff. And when I found this at a store in the US, I picked it up. So let's uh let's dig in. So it's aged in cognac, right? Yeah, aged in cognac casks. So I would Do we know how long? Or is it just finished? It I I should be able to get I don't have the box with me right now but we should be able to figure it out it would be it would usually be just finished now israel is similar to cavalan similar to amrut in that um the climate is very hot and things age quickly a lot of angel share right um and so usually these are going to be pretty young uh these are going to be somewhere between three and seven years old usually right um, so yeah, I don't know if this is full maturation or just a finish in cognac. You know okay. what this, this smells like, you know, that ice cream, I don't I mean, they still choice to make it, but I remember as a kid, it was Chapman's ice cream and it was the one with the strawberry chocolate vanilla. Uh, yeah, Metropolitan, I think. Ne Neapolitan, that's it. Yeah. Neapolitan. Neapolitan? Oh. That's I what actually get from. that. Now that you say it, I get that. I, I wouldn't have come up with that. But I see it. To me, the the cognac comes through like quite yeah, good. Not full, but <clears throat> but it, yeah, I, I yeah, it comes it's pretty fruity for me. I don't know what a, I don't think I would have guessed a cognac, but it's I wouldn't have guessed a cognac right there. No, well, it's nice. I'm looking forward to it. It's uh, it's got a nice nose. It's um, rich um lots of like uh dates or raisins kind of uh smells a little hot but um I get, like a little little that, I get that richness and i i get the the kind of mild chocolate mild fruitiness mild vanilla right all those kind of neapolitan ice cream flavors but uh I guess a, a bit of saltiness too, a little bit. Which you would expect, right? It's by the Mediterranean. Yeah, that's a nice note. I like those dates note date notes. Me too. Those are all good, good notes that you're all throwing out there. Cheers, boys. Let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So thirsty. Oh yeah, that's like uh, beach beach notes. Beach, very nice. Salt comes yeah. right through. Salt, they stick up seaweed. Like it, the uh, the ABV comes across. I think it, it it's a pretty high uh, high proof. I'd probably guess in the fifties. Fifty eight. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know that, but I'd probably blind. I'd probably have. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like a lingering heat on it. <clears throat> it's not like unbearable, but it's a, a lingering heat. That you yeah, know. I find it. It's it's got some nice kind of salty bitter notes that are on the finish that kind of last for me. But I've only had one. I got a bit of like a bit of cherry on the uh, the finish. Kind of really like a. Really dark chocolate, maybe like a like a bitter dark chocolate, like a ninety percent. 
Yeah, I get some really nice chocolate notes. I get those fruity dates, raisin, something like that, figgy. I don't know. It's hard to pinpoint, but it's something. It's it's a dried fruit. Um, I could go with Kyle's cherry if it was like the yeah. cough syrup. Well, kind of like cherry. I was going to say, it's kind of like, mar like a maraschino cherry. And that's kind of more like a mulatto, like it's a thicker kind of. I thought the maraschino of... cherries were like the really sweet desserty ones. Yeah, it is, but it's I got agree. more of that like mulatto, like very thick, sugary, mm. very sweet, yeah. You know, goo on there. Yeah, this is definitely on the sweet side. Um, and yeah, do you guys get those kind of beachy? It's like a kind of wet rock kind of note. Like, uh... I like that. I got seaweed. Wet rock, yeah. I can see that. I, I would I almost like... pin this as Bomore blind. Like, it's got some of those Bomore esque uh, kind of wet well, rock. Like an un, unpeated Bomore? It's like Bomore's not that peated, right? And so I kind of get with that little saltiness, that little minerally character mm. behind this and then the sweetness like i could see this being like a very low peat a little more but not quite but you know what i'm like it's got some of those kind of minerally characters this 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 tastes like um this tastes like licking melted 90 percent chocolate off of a salty sea rock on a beach with some sand know. on it, like <laughs> with, with with some kind of dried fruit in somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah, it does need some kind of fruit. So like a uh, chocolate infused, uh, with with some some, yeah, some some fruits and uh, yeah, but like somebody left it on a rock that's getting like the ocean spray on it and beautiful sand and yeah you're, you're, you're good cesspool water it's nice. yep 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 <laughs> salty you. bitter chocolate a little fruit in there so you can figure out that oh this this chocolate had some fruit in it and then uh you get some of that uh salty bittery sandy kind of i i honestly get more bitter than sweet on this like the finish yeah. for me is super bitter, like a cop syrup, yeah. like you guys were talking about. To me, it's mm -hmm. very, very bitter, exactly yeah. like a cough syrup. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I've kind of lost a lot of those, like the notes I was getting at the front end there, like all the like the salt, like the salt is still there, but like those earthy notes you're talking about. To me, it's coming across more cough syrup, like consistently. Mm -hmm. well, yeah i can see that no I, I i agree it's not particularly sweet like there's a fruitiness there um there's a little sweetness but i think it's well balanced with those kind of bittery salty notes and then this fruity stuff um and yeah i wouldn't pin this for a cognac finish but it makes sense yeah that wouldn't have been on my radar Yeah. maybe that's where that fruity kind yeah of... for sure those kind of datey raisiny notes that's where they're coming from they're coming from that cast for sure yeah it'd be neat to know the cognac yeah okay uh good to restart reviews yeah let's put some numbers on yeah i think uh i think it's good yeah i i i'm enjoying it I kind of kind of wish I had a little bit more than two ounces, but um, I also don't think it's particularly amazing. It's just it's got some nice layers. It's enjoyable. It's a, a, a little bit hot. I, I would this would go in the 90s if it was a little less hot and a little more flavorful. I got to dig a little bit for the flavors behind the heat, um, but it's still I think it's still well done. It's a fun dram. And uh, I'm going 84. I think it's good. Um, it's not remarkable. Uh, it's got some some neat flavors. I thought the nose was a bit more impressive uh, than the taste. Um, so it ends on the high end of good for me. 
Um, none of those, you know, I, I, I'm sure that, um, you know, none of those flavors are exactly what I would like. I look for, um, but I'm sure that there's a time and place for it, but that's why I ended up where I did. Yeah. I'll, was yeah, your score yeah. spot? Where, did you guys lose me at some point? 78 was me. Did you guys hear my score? Or you lost me before. No, you, you gave it an 84. Me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I lost connection. For... Um, Go ahead, Kyle. Yeah. You guys basically are saying what I, what I was about to say. Um, I'm going to go with an 82. Let me go first, then. <laughs> I'm going to go with an 82. Um, I am a little disappointed on that it's not copy-paste on the nose. Um, so I, <clears throat> I actually enjoy the nose. Um, yeah, it's it's easy drinking. You know, it's, I'll, I'll still enjoy the last uh, you know, ounce or so that I have left. But uh, I think it's a, it's a decent uh, whiskey. And, um, you know, curious of... Uh, any of the other products that they offer it's neat that some of the notes come from the re the, the region the notes a lot, uh, reflect the region a lot like you know being in israel the mediterranean the salty you know the, the um the uh the dried fruits you know that's a big thing over in the middle east um rocks you know there's lots of rocks and sand over there so it, it's neat that it really reflects uh the landscape um but yeah it it's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's it's a it's a, a decent whiskey. So uh, it kind of reinforces good. that uh, the climate that you're you're uh, making it in does does matter, eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. You know, I wonder because uh, it, it, I'm sure that it is, but you know, because in uh, hotter regions like Israel, like in India, because it ages so quickly, you know, I wonder if it really loses a lot of the potential. That it could have just because it doesn't have those that age like Scotland has because it's so cool and wet there. I'm sure you know. Maybe, I'm sure they, they could be maybe really good, but they're just they're they are where they are. That being said, this didn't strike me that as that youthful. No, and then this is honestly on the lower end of the the M and H's that I've had. So don't don't give up on the distillery yet. Try a few more things. Why? Yeah, why would we give up? This is this was uh, getting uh, low eighties, high seventies. It's still yeah, worth. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I think Trevor's losing his patience with us here. <laughs> He's ready to do good. Yeah, <laughs> the last name starting with a W. The pizza day was a bitch, so you know I had to wait. I was the last kid to get my pizza. <laughs> um, actually, Kyle took my uh, Kyle took my eighty two, so I, I'm going eighty two. I think it does, you know, there's a lot going on there, both on the nose and the palate, and it had a lot of good offerings and it's overall enjoyable. Nothing wrong with it. I'd agree with Simon. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, if it was less heat on it, I think it might enjoy it a little more. It's not that it's not enjoyable. I just think it, it definitely, when I'm drinking, I'm thinking like, you know, this is definitely a, a hotter kind of more heat on the scotch so my mind goes there and i don't know if it's this cold i have but um towards the end it was mostly like cough syrup which is like wasn't necessarily the the worst thing but uh, so it just had a lot of things going on for it and uh i wonder i wonder you know given that they uh they're pretty young uh like the age of it's young because of because of you know, the environment if that like becomes really difficult being a distiller, like you must have to be on top of things a little bit, like in a different way. You know what I mean? Like I wonder. It was probably uh, good for stock. I mean, you move through yeah. a little faster. Yeah, your overhead's a lot less, right? Yeah. yeah. So, imagine then, you know, yeah. imagine you open a business and you can't release anything for ten years. Like. <laughs> well, if you uh, had a drop of water really teams it down it's a lot more enjoyable i've got a little bit i, I, I just poured the rest of it and then did a little drop it teams it down you know my mouth is still a little you know sensitive from it earlier but it's definitely not as punchy we'll cut the recording there but i'm gonna go put a couple drops in cheers yeah.